Okay, the back of this instrument is curly maple. Okay, and there's this, this very hefty screw insert here. And this is embedded an inch and an eighth into a solid walnut. Now why would we have something so seemingly over-engineered? Well, I'm going to show you. That's so we don't break the instrument when the chin rest, or I'm sorry, the shoulder rest is attached. But first I'm going to attach the chin rest. Okay, the chin rest goes over here. Tighten that with a little piece that we don't want people to lose. Okay, this uh, chin rest is interesting. Um, instead of having cork where it meets the body, it, uh, we use a special 3M super non-slip material. Okay, this chin rest is adjustable. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but there is a little uh, set screw right there, which when loosened, one can twirl this around and get more height on the chin rest. Okay, now the shoulder rest <coughs> is um, adjustable in, uh, well, there are four adjustment points. And so we screw that in there. Somebody might say, oh, why such a long screw? It takes so long. Well, you want a really long screw because you don't want to break the instrument. There's all sorts of playing around what you can do with all the different pieces of the chin rest. We can move it this way, this way. And once you have it pretty much the way you want it, you tighten up thumb screws. And voila, that's about the way I use it. And it actually does look like something out of a Da Vinci notebook. Okay, right now these come in hand-carved uh, old spruce. Uh, we're going to be doing them in uh, uh, bent um, aircraft birch plywood, probably bent uh, maple. Tilt it up. You can see the chin rest. You can't see the chin rest from that angle. Thank you. This Thanks. particular chin rest is hand carved uh, old spruce, uh, which is very light and extremely strong. Uh, spruce is what base bars are made out of. It's not just pine. This part here is hard maple. Okay. You see the back of it. Oh. Talk about that. Talk about what aspect? The the foamy thing. Talk about. Oh, the well, the foam is it, it's it, there is an ample, a large amount of foam, and an angle that uh, after much experimentation uh, we found. 
that by moving uh, the chin rest in you know, various ways, one can get a really good comfort point with, with a curvature. So, that's the adjustment that's right for me. Now, if one had a really long shoulder, we have all of these other places where the bottom part can be attached. Now, let's tune this baby up and see what it sounds like. 